Welcome back guys to another episode of Fa Fate Extra Yeah, uh, this is like the second time I'm recording this Because the first time I did, I recorded uh, I got some problems with the recordings Unfortunately So yeah, the last time the name I, I chose was my username for my first name and the last name Where's the K anyway? Okay, okay, okay. Uh, and I chose Lily for the nickname because Lily it's a funny name. I'll, I always like the, the name Lily. Great, there's no telling when an emergency might occur. And it will be a help if you have your ID. I feel nauseous I, and I know it, it has nothing to do with that what I ate for breakfast this morning. I feel nauseous because of the world around me. It's repeating itself over and over, and that's making me sick. Now for the uniform inspection. Yeah, we we, we read we read this in the prologue. Uh, I want him to get out of my way. I want this repetition to stop. I push him aside and go forward. I'm not nice about it either. Yeah, and uh, he just talks to thin air. Like a recording. He keeps on talking loudly, even though he's facing no one. I have an headache. I'm shivering. I know one thing for sure. This is wrong. This is not the, the school I know. It can't be. I have to go. I have to hurry and wake up, or else it will be too late. But who am I waking for? Midday. Evening. My anxiety and headaches are only getting worse. Afternoon arrives while I desperately try to find a way to escape this bizarre situation. As is now the, the norm, my vision is over, over, overlaid with some kind of unnatural distortion. Uneasiness, futility, emptiness. I want someone to explain to me the true nature behind all of these feelings. There must be a key somewhere, something. Something that will have the answers to all of my questions. Yeah, let's find the answers. Uh, oh, I think I yeah yeah I need to go downstairs and follow Leo and follow the the, the, the past me. The moment I stepped I stepped foot on the first floor, my feelings of unease and intensified. There is a student wearing a red uniform. Leo, the new student, the, the new transfer student. The inter instant I lay eyes on him, I immediately feel immediate and humiliated. I, how old the hell? There is also someone trailing behind him. Uh, it looks like one of my classmates. The more I think, the more I realize that Leo isn't the only anomaly I've, c I've come across while on campus. There are other things that seem off as well. A lot of things seem off in this world. It's becoming clearer now. There are more people who shouldn't exist. Students that mysteriously vanish. The fabric of reality is coming unre unre unrevealed. What is the truth? No way enough. What defines the world you know? There is a reason why you you are here. Come, do not allow yourself to close your eyes to the truth. I will not. I will know the truth. Oh, that girl is running animation. Leo and one of the guys from the class, from my class, I thought are, are talking in the hallway at the head. The attention to detail is quite expressive, impressive, expressive. What the hell? Man. Even the surrounding area is surprisingly substantial. Uh, if that is the case, this world is in some ways more real than the, the real world it represents. Yeah, we, we already know what, you, what you're going to say because of the prologue. You guys, for a moment it feels as if he's including me in his, in his comment. However, Leo began speaking to my classmates, seemingly ob oblivious up to my presence. Greetings, I believe this is the first time we've had an actual conversation. 
Leo gives me a smile with no hostility. However, I have the suspicion that there is something malicious behind this smile. Attending school wasn't half bad. Yeah, we know you liked it. We know you would like to keep experiencing school life. Yeah, but we know you you have to go. Yes, we know. Uh, with those final wor words, Leo turns his back on me. Farewell, my friend. No, that's not quite right. I don't think Farrell would be accurate in this situation. For reasons I cannot explain, I have the distinct feeling that we will see each other again. So I guess I should use the more congen... See you later. Well, it's time for me to move on. I wish you the best of luck. Oh, thank you, my good friend. And then he goes through a wall. Uh, Leo said as much, even going so far as to look in my direction. For some inexplicable reason, I am not surprised that Leo knew I was spying on him. I am trying to get things straightened out in my mind when Leo suddenly disappears. The student who is following him also disappears after touching the same spot on the wall. At the same moment he vanishes. My, my vision distorts and this shock threatens to overwhelm me. What is going on here? I wonder if this place is the source of my unease. It probably is. Let's go through the wall anyway. Like him, I place my hand on the wall expecting to be drawn in. I see now that the way to the, the truth to why I have these feelings begins right here. Yes, I do want to know why. The atmosphere changes. There is a doorway, an entrance, where the concrete wall used to be. It's not something of this world. There's no doubt this door leads to some place in unfat... Something. I bid farewell to the false world and take my first step towards the truth. Yeah, let's just pick up the doll or... The effigy, uh, yeah, it's yeah, it's the effigy. I think that's the correct name for that creature over there. An entrance to the to another world beyond this door. The previous statement perfectly described the view before me. Walking behind me is a strange, silent attendant. It is to be my sword and shield for what lies ahead. I, a disembodiment voice suddenly confirms my thoughts. Although I have yet to learn anything, I need to do something be besides stand here. At the very least, there might be some clues to this bizarre experience up ahead. I have no choice but to head into the darkness with only this strange doll as protection. Yep, it's going to be a, some great protection, you see. <laughs> Oh yeah. Oh boy. Mm. Yeah, I remember hearing this song, music, this music, in the final part of the game. Quite nostalgic. Not going to spoil anything anyway. For those who don't know. So. How are you guys? I'm fine, thanks for asking. Oh, just running through this endless hallway. I think it's almost done though. Any moment now. Any minute. Oh, there we go. Yeah, now it's the tutorial. No longer, no longer a typical school campus, the floor and walls, the air, even the aura are slightly off. It wouldn't surprise me to see a monster pop out from the shadows, it's very much like a dungeon here. Welcome potential master. Who's there? Show yourself. With a shocking sudden, uh, suddenness, a voice begins speaking. It sounds like it's coming from the empty sky above. If you are looking for answers, you must reach the goal. Now, please step forward. I will step forward. Oh look, an item. And an enemy. 
Yeah, I know that's an item folder. Uh, uh, other shard, I'm not okay. That's an enemy. Only going to use one attack, I know. I know the, the, the rock, paper, scissors, scissors system. I this guy is only going to use break. Fine, I will. I just need to, need to use attack. Oh, that was a critical. Next yeah, turn. So how did it go? One thing to know is that each turn you will have to plan series of six attack, six moves. Yeah, I know. Yes, I do know attack. Uh, defeats break. This guy uses defense, if I remember correctly. Defend. No, this. Oh, while well, attack is up, uh, use. Oh, okay. This guy uses attack. I just need to guard. Yep. Guard, 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 guard. It's no use! Extra turn! Damn, these kicks! They're so damn fabulous! Wow, whoa, the two health! Two HP left! Yeah, it's exactly right! Uh, as you may already notice, performing three successful actions in a row is. Uh, uh, yes, yes, and then I get a, uh, an extra turn. Yes, yes, I know. I know, yes, I will proceed. I will proceed. Let's just finish this tutorial. And here is the final enemy. Which is just going to use break. Break. Oh, no, no, he's it, it, going to use guard. Yes, yes, yes yeah, I am the one who uses break. Break uses a damn fabulous kick. Fabulous kick. Damn, these kicks are so funny. And then, yeah. Didn't even break a sweat. Once you know the rest of the base, yeah, yeah, I know, I know, I know the basics already. And this is the final enemy who mixes things up a little bit. Not really because he, he uses a pattern, which I already know it's attack, attack, break, attack, attack, break. Yep, pretty damn easy. Critical. Attack. Attack. And he's dead. Good job. Alright then. Please proceed to the final room. Let's proceed to the final room, the giant sphere up ahead. And she just suddenly stops running and starts walking super slowly. It's really weird though. I made it. At the end of the very long road, after going through a door that suddenly disappears in the appeared in the wall, the oppressive air of this place where the spirits of the dead still linger. Here's my goal, that's what I thought. Look, it's me from the past. Further in, it appears as if someone had collapsed. When I look into his face, it's it's the student who was, who was following Leo just now. Yeah, who's Leo anyway? Where where the, uh, who's not uh, where's Leo? I call out uh, I call out to him, but get no reply. I shake him in an attempt to wake him up. When I noticed, he is stone cold. Yep, he is dead. All right. I go as pale as the corpse before me, and I can no longer think currently. All I can do is stare in bewilderment. It is at this moment. Oh no! A new challenger appears! 
The fallen effigy lying next to the maelstrom comes to its feet with a clatter. After having to fight several enemy programs to get here, it's obvious that this thing is an enemy as well. Without warning, it suddenly twists around and comes right at me. No, get away! Get away! Yeah, and I don't know anything about him. And it's just going to counter pretty much everything I do. Oh! Ah! Even... I wonder if it is it possible to even win this fight. I don't think so, though. It, it, it just wrecks me. Even though I can sometimes do a even... And... Maybe I can... Oh, yeah, I, I could attack him, actually. But, yeah, it, ju it just counters everything I do. It's probably impossible to win. Oh no, I'm dead. I died. <laughs> you seem to be lacking as well. I can hear the sound of a distant voice. The time has come. With your inevitable loss, I will consider this round of preliminaries to be over. Farewell, I pray you'll find peace in your annihilation. That is the voice's final words to me. I don't have the power to protest. All I can do is stare at the floor. I think I'm going to die here. Suddenly, at the edge of my now hazy vision, a number of brown colored lumps seem to rise from the ground. Actually, it might be that I, I just noticed them now. They may have been there from the beginning, for all I know. Those lumps are the bodies of an untold number of fallen Tsukum Tsukumihara Academy students. Yeah, too many corpses. A and I'm the one in the middle! I'm the important one! The important one! The guy before me wasn't the only one to, to fall. All the other ones, the other made others, made it here and died, unable to do anything. In the very short while, I suppose I'll become one of them. Yep. Don't give up. Maybe I should just close my eyes in now. I did all that I could. So many it be. So maybe it would be better for it to end now. Nope. I refuse to give up. I do refuse to give up. I refuse to give up. I summon all of my strength in an attempt to get back on my feet. However, as I try to move, an unbearable intense pain shoots through my body, my entire body. If that's how it's going to be, no. If this is, I still refuse to give up. That's right, I can't give up now. Even if I'm forced to con concede defeat eventually, it'd be unforgivable to do so now. I feel as if something's wrong. All of my senses grow faint. The pain running through my body has long passed my ability to endure it. I now know what the, what the damned suffer. Even so, I must stand. The drive to go on is something I do not understand. It's not like the fear of death is uh, urging me to not give up. I just want to be at peace. Keeping that in mind, why am I trying with all of my might to get back on my feet? I cannot figure out the reason why. I don't know why my life needs to be ended. Why am I here? I understand now. What must be the reason why? That must be the reason why. There were those many corpses. There were those many questions. My static though. Now, I can't continue without knowing. No. Now that my spirit has been awakened, I cannot allow things to come to an end without knowing. Hmm. As a representative of the Holy Grail, I cannot I can hardly ignore such overpowering doubt. You question your own existence even as it comes to an end and see your own shortcomings as death approaches. Very well. I expect much from that spirit of yours. 
There's a servant left that fits a human like you. A nondescript legendary soul fighting for a nameless master. I look forward to your failed efforts in battle. Oh no, the windows broke. Oh damn, the music. That fancy music. The sound of the music. <laughs> Of breaking glass is accompanied by a light cutting through the gloom. I managed to move my eerie body and aching head to see what's happening. I didn't notice before, but something was slowly rising up from the floor in the middle of the room. That form. Oh damn, it's Archer! Hmm, the stylish Archer. It appears he's an. Its appearance isn't much different from what a, from that of a human being, but something was different, clearly so. The power emanate, emanating from it transcends that of a human, of any human, of any enemy I faced in getting here. An awesome power that seems as if it it'd be, it'd vaporize any anyone it touches swirling swirls within my body almost against my will. Well, I think this is a good spot to end the episode. It's been 20 minutes. So, I, th I hope you guys like this episode. And I'll see you guys in the next one.